How did Elvis and Dolores get on in the movie? Oh, wonderful. Very, very good. Uh, she was just starting out, you know, and uh, they... They rehearsed, you know, and did everything. I remember walking on the set one day, and she was rehearsing with Elvis, and I was just walked by and uh, went over to my dressing room. And the next thing I know, he came in, and he said, what's the matter? And I said, what are you talking about? He says, you didn't say hello to me. I said, Elvis, you were rehearsing with Dolores. I didn't want to interrupt. He said, don't ever do that again. And I thought, <laughs> you know, what did I do wrong? Yeah. yeah. And uh, but that was true. He used to, when I would walk on the set, he used to be at the other end. He'd come running, pick you up, swing you around, you know. And he never had a dime in his pocket. Yeah. If I was walking toward the apple machine, he'd follow me, and I'd say, "You want an apple, right?" <laughs> and he'd say, "Yes." And I, so I'd get him an apple, and me an apple. But uh, I thought, here this guy's making tons of money, he doesn't have a dime on him, you know. But, uh, and he told me, too, about being hurt. You know, like when, uh, he said they stopped at a diner one time when they were, he and the guys were traveling in the car, and he said, this guy came up, just lifted me up off the chair, you know, like that, and said, I don't like you. And Elvis said, why, sir? Sir, right? You know, what did I do? And he says, my wife carries your picture around in her wallet. Oh. And I said, uh, and Elvis said, uh, sir, I'm sorry. That's nothing had to do with me. I didn't, you know, I'm, she shouldn't have done that is the way he put it. And then the guy just dropped him and let him go. But he says, you know, half the time when he goes into a place like a, in Vegas with all the girls are lined up, and he says, they... He says, so many times I got punched in the eye, you know, because they go for his hair. Yeah. And then they hit him in the eye, and he said, and it hurts. And sometimes he just had hair pulled out. You know, they wanted his hair. Piece of it just, it's just, it's just terrible, yeah. you know. And uh, so, and then he could never go anywhere except he came to my surprise birthday party, yeah. which was a real treat, I found out later. Yeah. That he doesn't go to those things, you know. They come to him, and uh, but he but he came, and he he came he came in walking with this big stuffed tiger on his shoulder, and he knew I love cats, so he brought me that. And then he had this big box, and I, I I thought well, later, you know. And I went to put no 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 no. I want you to open it now. And so I opened it, and it was a movie camera with a light bar and film, three rolls of film, yeah. which I should have gone out and bought at least ten more rolls mm -hmm. of film, had I known, you know. And uh, he said, now take your pictures. Because I had always said to him, I have kids in my block who know I'm working with you. You've got to give me some pictures, Elvis. Yeah. So he said, take your pictures. I'm sure Colonel Parker would have objected yeah. to that. I'm sure he yeah. would. <laughs> so I have three rolls of film of Elvis at my party. And everyone's stealing them. Like people steal things from yeah. you. Yeah. Well, everyone still stole, you know, little cuts where he's singing Adivaderce Roma at the end of my film. Yeah. And everyone says, what is he singing? What is he singing? I said, Adivaderce Roma, you know. Wow. And uh, so it was just one of those things, you know. And that was a surprise. How did they get you to the party? Dolores said, my mother has a very bad headache. Could you, now I can't leave her. Could you, and he knew about it. He knew that the party was going to be. And could you bring me some aspirin? And I don't know how he got there ahead of me, but you did. And so I walked into the room, and there is all the kids from Paramount, you know. And, and the uh, Edith Head's... Uh, assistant yeah. wardrobe was a good friend of Dolores's and uh, Dolores's mom and Lillian Montevecchi and some girl that was just going with a sugar heiress I don't remember what her name was but uh, and they yelled happy birthday you know and Elvis was not there yet and while I was going around thanking everybody the doorbell rang and it was Elvis wow you know, and then when the next day I went to the, to the studio, 
to have lunch, I think, with Dolores. And I ran into Joey Gray, who was Elvis's stand-in. And Joey said, I heard about your party. And I said, yeah, he says, you're very lucky because he doesn't go to things like oh. that. And I said, not only am I lucky, I've got three rolls of film. <laughs> yeah. You know. And he gave you that tiger, didn't he? Oh, the big tiger. Dan and it was called Danny Boy. Yeah. Because that was one of his favorites. Yeah. I asked him, I said, why don't you record songs like Danny Boy? And uh, he said, they don't want me to. He said, it won't sell. And one day, when we were rehearsing, Pat Boone came walking on the set. Oh, wow. And as he was walking toward us, Elvis started, you know, he mimicked a lot of singers, Elvis. Yeah. He started singing April Love, which was Pat Boone's big hit, yeah. you know. And it sounded just like Pat Boone. Wow. And he just he just roared, you yeah. know, and wow. they met each other and it was nice. And Ty Harden came over, said, Jan, I wanted to see you work. I said, like, hell, you want to see me work. You want to meet Elvis. Yeah. That's why you're here, you know. Yeah. So there was a lot of that yeah. going on, too, you know, because, uh, you know, he was so famous then, you know, so famous, 57, 58. What did the other actors in the movie, like Carolyn Jones, Walter Matthau, what did they think about Oh, this? they loved him. They loved him because he, he was one, he just, he, I want to say is, but I can't. He was one of the best actors I've ever worked with. I mean, it was there. I mean, it was, you were in the moment, and you were the, in doing what the character called for in that moment. He was just so damn good. And in, a, in fact, uh, the only per person who was criticized was Walter Matthau. Uh, Michael Curtis says, well, Walter, I know you're a fine actor. You're big actor, you make lots of money. But do this seem like you don't make so much money? <laughs> and I knew what he was saying, you know, yeah. and, uh, but but Elvis was just wonderful, just wonderful in that. You believed him every moment, yeah. you know, and the school teacher and with Carolyn, he was so good, and with the father, you know, he was good about that. But I was a very lucky girl. Because that really started me going yeah. full steam ahead, you know. Would you say that that helped your career? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Major. You know, when you're just starting out, these are so important. You have a sheet. You know, what have you done? Yeah. You know, I always want to say, what have you done? Yeah. You know, <laughs> but uh, uh, you, you try and say the last thing. Well, I did a picture with Elvis Presley, and they go, oh, and Hal Wallace and Michael Curtiz, who directed Casablanca. Yeah. You can't get any bigger yeah. than that. 